ties, that she is afraid to leave her home. We have no laws currently on our books to beef it up. So when, uh, and some dog owners has even related uh, me going after a, a breed specific legislation, talked about, it, they even equated it to racial relations, black and white, uh, uh, related it to gay marriages. And anytime those individuals are of a mindset, they can equate a canine to human issues, race relations, uh, sexual orientations. I think they're a little skewed, but we will be working with all parties of like thinking to make sure that owners are responsible. I'm going to repeat it one more time, Councilman Nolden. Owners are responsible for their animals. And if those animals can inflict great bodily harm upon the public, especially children, seniors, I would love to see people walking through their community exercising, but they can't because they're afraid of loose canines. And so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bend or bow uh, to the will of individuals that will equate human issues, reality issues, when we have these type of attacks that's happening on children in our community. And so I'm, I'm gonna try to draft a, a, a good piece of legislation that speaks to that. I'm gonna need you, Peter, on this, uh, as much as possible to, to draft something that's, that's equitable because we don't want to penalize good owners, but we definitely want to penalize bad owners. I'm going to need my colleague's support on this as well. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, can I say something real quick? Council well, Water. Well, what, 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 uh, uh, Mr. Nelly, what, what is your remedy or resolution towards stray dogs? Because there's a lot of stray pet bulls and vicious dogs just roaming around. Would that be implemented into that as well? I mean, what can we do? Because I see stray dogs running around on a consistent basis and, and you know, a dog is a dog. You know, you never know if it's vicious or not. So what do we do about that? With stray dogs, we have legislation to speak to stray dogs. They're either picked up and quarantined and either euthanized or adopted out by animal control, which is ran by the county. This, this, this legislation, once again, is talking about dog owners. Dog, a stray dog does not have an owner. That's right, but it's not being enforced because there are a lot of stray dogs. So. Absol absolutely. Okay. And that's animal control that's ran by the county. Okay. And so if we need to get our, our county counterparts over here because we do pay taxes to the county for this type of enforcement, stray dogs have no owners. But, if they, they <clears throat> but stray dogs come from somewhere. But if we registered those dogs, we would know if that dog was truly a stray dog or it had a person who claimed to be an owner of that dog to let it go and roam our streets. So th th this is not a, a well, what I consider a debatable issue. It's like we have a problem and we just got to figure out a good remedy to it. I I'm not going to be an advocate to try to say that I'm going to attack uh, all pit bull dogs or dog owners or look at this, but we need to make sure that the city of Flint, and this is the, the governance we have in the city of Flint, that if the county's not doing their job, we still have an obligation to the residents inside the city of Flint. And I'm just trying to fulfill that obligation, making sure that people and children can play in parks, people can walk in parks, people can walk in their neighborhoods without fear of a dog coming to attack them. And when we talk about the humane situation, loving pit bulls, we've had at least 13 uh, police officers had to put down 13 canines this summer with a shotgun because that's what, the, that's what it requires. And that's inhumane, inhumane when you talk about putting down a canine. They have to shoot these dogs. And so we need to figure out a solution. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, but our job is somewhat difficult. And I'm asking for all input to come together to figure out a way that we can have our streets safer for our families. Thank you. Mr. Thank President, you. and that's why I've talked about the committee meetings. That would no normally be done in legislative committee. And so I don't want to be out here on the floor doing ordinances. So that's exactly why I asked if Mr. Neely needs our support and if I need to look at it to see if I support it, that tells me for sure that I'm right. Do we have the authority? I know I got it because I'll draft it up and do it and if it go through it, don't. But so that part of our function has not been taken away. He, we, we still drafting legislation and ordinances. Um, Mr. Neely, what's the timetable? I mean, you referred it to who? The city attorney's office? What happened to the legislative committee? Do you see why I'm inquiring? Because this is a different way of doing ordinances than I know. Um, 
how do we do that? What's going on? What is y'all doing? What's the procedure? This, 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 did you refer it to legislative? Is that gone? Well, I, I do have confidence in the legal department because we have worked in, in partnership with the legal department on many different occasions to help create legislation and, and uh, quality of life type of rules for our community. I do have full confidence that Peter has heard. He has said he has agreed. He will assign uh, one of the, the uh, people in the legal department to assist me through this, and we will do our investigation and our research and our consultation with other uh, um, canine organizations and colleagues in order to move this forward. So, so I'm confident the, um, the timeline will be um, perfected to get a good piece of legislation through. We're not going to rush anything. But we do want to continue to move forward and have forward progress on this. So I, I'm confident in the legal department. I'm confident uh, in the process that we currently have. But we will move forward on this. And I appreciate you saying that we need uh, different committees to meet on this. But as it relates to this particular project, I'm confident that we will move forward from this point. Okay, Mr. Chairman, through you to Councilman Neely, I'll talk to you privately and I'll talk to both of y'all, but if we draft in legislation and bypassing our own legislative committee, if that's the procedure, that's what I'm getting at. I like it the old way, but if this is the new way we legislatures work, I disagree with it, but I hear it and I'll see if I'm right or wrong. But that's not how we've done business in the past. But I can maybe support it, Mr. Neely, but I just want to see how we draft in legislation. That's one of our major functions, and I think we should do it together. I'll wait to see. God bless. Thank you. Councilwoman Galloway, do you have anything? Councilwoman? No, I don't. Okay, I just want to make an announcement. Our next uh, city council meeting will be on December the 16th at 5.30 uh, p.m. here in the uh, council chambers. I just want to thank everyone for being here tonight. I want to thank my colleagues. And again, I um, commit and uh, will demonstrate uh, working with each and every one of you. Thank you very much, and we are adjourned.